I've been talking to you, yeah. All right. It was a hell of a ride. <laughs> now, he'd be writing it. He wouldn't even say it. All right, six minutes away from nine, 8.54. Uh, Joyce has our last look of traffic. How are we doing? Well, uh, as we close out, we're still seeing some slow travel, and now reports of an accident. This report of service of Shore Mortgage, uh, 75 southbound, the ramp to Square Lake in the Bloomfield area. We've got an accident there, partially blocking that ramp. Now, uh, beyond all of that, 75 southbound from the Davison to 94, we've got road work block in the left lane. And then just past the Davison is a stalled truck in the center lane. Overall, you're still slowing from in pockets from before 696. Traveling the Ford Freeway 94 at Harper at I-75 and at Livernoy, we've got a lane blocked each way. Westbound travel still slowing in pockets from Morales. Eastbound slowing as you approach Livernoy. And keep in mind, beginning at 9 tonight, 94 westbound scheduled to shut down for weekend road work between Gratiot and Detroit and I-75. That'll go on until 6 o'clock Monday morning. Call us your mortgage now for the zero down mortgage. That's right. Zero zip zilch nada. Absolutely nothing down on your home loan. Call 1-800-678-6663 today. I'm Joyce 105.9 Jam. All right, Joyce, have a great weekend. Hey, you too. It's 855, five minutes away from nine o'clock. All week we've been giving away passes uh, to see Bob Marley. Not to see Bob Marley. I'm sorry. The Bob Marley Festival. <laughs> <laughs> i tell you what. But I wouldn't be surprised if you saw people look like him. <laughs> All right, he's going to be on Frog Island. <laughs> I, 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 I tell you what, I bet there'll be somebody there who will actually see him. <laughs> You're absolutely right. So, and they probably... <laughs> Yeah, I understand. You see him from time to time. Time to time. Ypsilanti. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now that I just got it, you it's know It's going to be uh, in Ypsilanti. All right. The festival. It's the happening. festival. Okay. All right. I'm, I'm there now. I got it. All right. We're there. there. But anyway, so we, we've given away tickets all week. And the grand prize winner will receive uh, uh, two free passes for the festival. Also a Bob Marley t-shirt and a couple of uh, Bob Marley CDs. Two Bob Marley CDs. And that I mean, winner which is... two? Well, we got quite a few of them, so we'll call them two. The winner is Valicia Starks of Redford. Valicia! All right, Valicia! There you go. Valicia, you are headed over Who to Ipsy. She and she she's, uh, uh, let me see. Who did no, she say? did not. That's not my handwriting. Uh, no, it was with us. The breakfast chair. Yeah. That's what it was. Oh. With us. All right, congratulations, Valicia. So we'll see you on Frog Island. All right, uh, let me see here. Tune up. He's out at Seven Mile and Evergreen with free passes for uh, Franklin BC's. Every day, every day, Six days a week, people are playing the Michigan Lottery Daily Three and Daily Four games. Drawings are twice a day, midday and evening, and it's fun to be a player. To be a player, just go to your nearby Michigan Lottery retailer, pick your favorite numbers, and then watch or listen to the drawings at 12.59 and 7.28 p.m. It's easy and fun. Twice a day, every day, Every week, an average of over 30,000 people play and win. That's an average of over $6 million in winnings. Yes, it pays to be a player. There's even advanced wagering, so you won't miss a day. You can also play your favorite number, straight, box, or two-way. There are so many ways to win. Six days a week, twice a day, did you play? The Michigan Lottery Daily 3 and Daily 4 games. It pays to be a player. We now interrupt our regularly scheduled programming for the special report from Foot Locker. At this hour, satellites are tracking a major sale developing over North America. We have reports of footwear prices dropping up to 50% and more as a low pricing system bears down on Foot Lockers across the nation. A severe savings advisory is now in effect for the following counties. All of them. Experts are already calling this the biggest sale in Foot Locker history. There are confirmed reports of high tops, cross trainers, and running shoes, some as large as size 14, coming down in price across the country. Prices have, in fact, touched down at up to 50% and more in all 50 states. To clarify, a severe savings advisory means that severe savings have been reported in the area. All citizens are advised to proceed calmly to the nearest Foot Locker and stock up on footwear at savings up to 50% and more as soon as possible. Once again, a severe savings advisory is now in effect and will remain in effect for some time. Stay tuned to 105.9 Jams for further developments from Foot Locker. Play big. Play big. 105.9 Jams. <laughs> is there any other way wow. to play? <laughs> 858. <laughs> It's a couple of minutes away from now. What do you got over there? Dearborn man is suing a uh, Dearborn family that is, is suing a dead man. Good morning. I'm Mildred Gaddis, 105.9 Jams. A family who purchased a house in Dearborn says that the previous owner left some small bottles of mercury really? in the home and, and the medicine cabinet, okay? Now, you know, when you generally go into a new home, you clear out all that stuff that's not yours and you get rid of it and clean. Uh -huh. Well, anyway, the previous owner, 
who happens to be deceased, left some small bottles of mercury in the medicine cabinet, and the children of the new owners began playing with the mercury. Well, the mother is saying that they are fearful of health problems, so they're going to sue the dead man for damages. I wonder if he had to show up in court. I don't know. <laughs> But they're suing him. Here in the city of Detroit, a man died following an accident yesterday on I-94. Police say that a truck driver rear-ended an ambulance while watching a fire on the freeway, killing the patient in the ambulance and injuring the driver as well as a technician. The freeway was closed for about three hours. People found themselves sitting on a parking lot uh, while the investigation was being done. From the 105.9 Entertainment File, Bobby Brown has settled a lawsuit against him. Well, that's another one. Security guard Kevin Chambers filed suit against Brown, you remember, in 95 for allegedly attacking him after he was sent uh, to a to quiet a party down by Brown and his wife, Whitney Houston. Now, nobody's releasing the terms of that particular agreement. And Oprah Winfrey, who might want to be quiet for a minute here, is disputing reports from the BBC that says that she's going to appear nude in the steamy love scene with Danny Glover in this new movie coming out. And she told the Chicago Sun-Times, now, anybody who knows me and knows what I stand for knows that I would never, ever do a nude scene. I remember, Jay, the interview she did with Mike Wallace on right. 60 Minutes a few years ago when she said she wanted to play a whore in a red dress Ooh. and wanted to be caught Ooh. in a field with her legs Ooh. up and her dress stop, down. Stop. So I guess I she's I love saying. hot folks. <laughs> <laughs> but I come dead. Boy. So I guess she's reborn now. Right. Okay. Detroit area weather is calling for high today, Jay. In the 80s. We're it's going to be a nice day Yeah, it's about 59 degrees right now. <laughs> Let's reach out and come together. Collectively, we can <laughs> and it. will make a difference. Don't forget the pledge. It's Bud. Do come back. I'm Mildred Gaddis, 105.9 Jams. What's you can, you can catch Bud on. He'll be on tonight at 6. Monday 60 through Friday. Minutes, baby. Stick around. It gets better. He'll be on tonight between 6 and six 10. 6 and 10, I will be there. It's Friday, so that means it's Vic's Picks on Flix. Get the weekend started. Hey, Vicky, good morning. Good morning, Jay. How are you doing this I morning? I am so wonderful, girl. What's happening? Well, you know, one of the movies that opens up this weekend is Rounders, rated R, starring Matt Damon. And I've got to tell you, even though it's only about poker, it's a well-rounded movie. I really enjoyed this and one. And I like Matt Damon. He's, so, he's good in it. I think you'll enjoy him in this movie as well. Another movie, movie opening up this weekend is Simon Birch, rated R. I'm sorry, rated PG. It's a part coming of age heart coming of age with Forrest Gump kind of a movie. Now, this movie does stand on its own, but it just doesn't stand tall enough, if you know what I mean. Mm. Another movie that opens up today is Let's Talk About Sex. Now, this movie was kind of interesting. It's interesting that it made it to the big screen because it was definitely a conversation I didn't have to have. Let's Talk About Sex is not worth it. Hey. I don't know why. I, mean, it seems, it seems like that movie's been out for a while. It's like no. it's already been out. What am I thinking about? Something about Mary, I guess. No, no. There's something about Mary. There's a lot of other talking about sex movies that are coming out. There's uh, Neighbors and Friends. Okay. And that's a kind of sex kind of a movie or the discussion close of sex. and personal? Sex. No, 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 no. What about the other movie, the, the Beverly Hills movie? Slums, Slums of Beverly Hills. Slums yeah. of Beverly Hills. I would not recommend that for you. Really? No, it's a 70s kind of a coming of age movie. We've got a lot of coming of age movies okay. right now. Right. But you know what? An interesting video is on your video shelf. Primary Colors, which is loosely based on President Clinton's campaign. Right, right, right. Oh, yeah. yeah. Is it yeah. what you suggesting? Yeah, with all the things that are going on, it may give you an interesting